It appealing to imagine a world where artificial wombs grow babies eliminating the health risk of pregnancy that why for decades scientists have been trying to develop an artificial womb that would recreate a more natural environment for a premature baby to continue to develop and one of the main challenges was recreating the intricate circulatory system that connects mom to fetus. The mom blood flows to the bab and back, exchanging oxygen for carbon dioxide the blood needs to flow with just enough pressure, but an external pump can damage the baby heart. To solve this problem, Flake and his colleagues created a pumpless circulatory system they connected the fetus umbilical blood vessels to a new kind of oxygenator, and the blood moved smoothly through the system inside what looked like oversized ziplock bags strewn with tubes of blood and fluid. Eight fetal lambs continued to develop much like they would have inside their mothers over four weeks. Their lungs and brains grew, they sprouted wool, opened their eyes, wriggled around, and learned it to swallow. According to a new study that takes the first step toward an artificial womb one day, this device could help to bring premature human babies to turn outside the uterus but right now, it has only been tested on cheap prematurity is the leading cause of death for newborns. In the US, about 10% of babies are born prematurely which means they were born before they reached 37 weeks of pregnancy. It complete science fiction to think you could do this without the mother that why for decades scientists have been trying to develop an artificial womb that would recreate a more natural environment for a premature baby to continue to develop in. The authors acknowledged that it's going to take more research into the science and safety of this device before it can be used on human babies.